Refugees and Reality, I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. Do you remember back during the election campaign, the Liberals said they would bring in 25,000 Syrian refugees by December 31st of 2015. Heck, they even had retired General Rick Hill. You're saying that's no problem. He could bring in 50,000 or more in that time frame. Of course, reality is much different than election promises, something we're learning time again from the liberals as they miss promise after promise. But let's focus on refugees for a moment. After thousands upon thousands of Canadians signed on to petitions like refugeepause.ca, after the reality of the logistical security and health risks being looked at were, were examined, the liberals said, hold on, you're right, 25,000 by December 31st, 2015 is too many, too fast. We're going to slow it down. We'll bring in 10,000 by December 31st and 25,000 by the end of February. Well, they didn't even make that. What's the reality? Much different. I'm going to read off to you some numbers from the government's own website. How many people have been approached, how many people have been approved, and how many people have come to Canada? So far, 61,391 text messages have been sent to potential applicants to see if they want to come to Canada. 69,775 refugees have been contacted by phone to invite them to the United Nations High Commission for Refugees to get more information on coming to Canada. And out of that 69,000, just 23,000 went to actually get more information on coming to Canada. Hold on, I thought everyone wanted to come to Canada. I thought everyone wanted to leave. No, no, that's not reality, and that's something that those of us with some intelligence and insight said at the time. Now, of that 23,859 that went to get more information on coming to Canada, well, 16,000 have been referred to Immigration and Refugee Canada for more information or for an interview. Now, how many are being screened? Well, there's 17,676 refugee resettlement applications in progress as of December 30th. 4,000 have been finalized, but they haven't yet traveled to Canada. Do you know how many have actually traveled to Canada? As of December 31st, just 6,064 Syrian refugees came to Canada in that time frame. That's shocking. We were told that there would absolutely be 25,000 that would come to Canada. We were told that anyone that disagreed with the idea of 25,000 coming to Canada by December 31st was some kind of racist or bigot or someone that believed in reality. Now, since then, the Liberals have come up with all kinds of excuses for why this hasn't happened. They've said there's logistical reasons, they've said there's the weather, and they've said there's human nature. See, it turns out many people don't just want to pack up and move to Canada on a whim. They want to take some time and think about it. Most people simply want to stay close to home so that when the fighting is over, they can go back to to the land that they and their family have owned, some for generations, some less time, but a place that they know, a place that they feel and love and call home. It's the same as you and I would feel if we were displaced due to fighting in our homeland. If there was fighting here in Canada, we wouldn't necessarily want to just pack up and leave, never to go back. We'd probably want to go home. But those of us that said that was the reality during the election campaign and after, we were smeared. I think at this point, we're owed an apology, and it's time for the Liberals to admit to reality.